Hey guys, welcome back to Life on the Eddie Family Farm. Well, you can see behind me, it's William's truck, but it's actually Brandon and Nico. They are actually getting, they're headed to go get the new combination panels. And then um, how Brandon is wanting to do it to make it a lot easier and we don't have to get the goats out and have to repin them up and everything. He's gonna go get the combination panels and then he's gonna bring them back here and stack them one by one by each one. And then kind of like we did how we put these up and then one by one, they will take one panel down and then put the other panel up. So they're not actually letting the goats out. So that's, they're, they're the same length. So it's gonna work out perfect. Hopefully, fingers crossed but that is what they are starting to do. Um, one other thing I wanted to show is we did end up locking uh, Carly up in this pen as well as the goats because Carly is in heat now and you can tell Toby really likes her. So we put Carly in there so she can't get pregnant or anything because she does have a spade date, so we don't want to go in to get her spade and they say, oh, she's pregnant, she can't get spade. So that's why she's in there. Toby's out here and Dixie, I believe, is under the barn still. The puppies, we just kind of let them roam a little bit. Um, they've just been kind of roaming everywhere well, just because them. Dixie is dried up now. So they are, they're still following her, but they can't drink from her probably under like some of them might be under the trailer and like the stuff fell in yeah and then one might be under the shop because we saw uh when i walked out there's all kind they're all chasing me yeah you can tell toby got into some stick tights oh Bye -bye. my gosh yeah the tail is really really bad and this all happened sometime through the night. So no telling where he went. No telling at all. You say hi. No one ever sees you. I guess you can actually see the dogs now since one, Carly's in there and Toby wants to be friendly. So it's one way to see him, huh? And if you seen the video we did yesterday, um, Toby, all the dogs when Cody was out, but they might be all going to that toy that we found in yesterday video. Yeah. Yep. Just like ponies. Yep. But um, you can see behind us, um, Spot is back here and she has not had her babies yet. Um, she is the one that we know will probably have them first. But then again, we thought they were gonna have them first last time or she was gonna have it first and then she was huge forever. And I think a couple of the goats actually had kids before her. So you never know until it actually really happens. Like Red Bear, Red Bear had three, I think. She had triplets yeah. and she was smaller than Spot and Spot only had one. So you, you just don't know with goats. What are you doing? Little rotten thing. All right. Well, they went off that way, so I told Brandon we're gonna get some filming done today. So let's go find Wilbur. Talk to him a little bit. Just check on him, and then Wilbur is the pig. Oh, you named it already. Yeah, Dad named it. That's best. Yep. And then we'll go check out the llamas and the. Ponies. See if Chuck's back laid down in the same box. Yeah. Oh, it's open. Yeah. I would have fell. So is the pig out right there? The pig is somewhere. We finally found him yesterday because I got some feed. And he was, he was actually in here. But I really don't feel like walking around everywhere looking for him. Oh, there he is. Yay! Thank you. Let's 
see if I can get him. Wilbur! Wilbur! Yeah. Yeah? Yeah? I know. I called you last time and I had feed. How you doing, bud? It's a boy. Mm-hmm. I got a show. Yep. Nope. It's a boy. Wilbur. How's that boy getting here? Cowboy following us. Yeah. Hi, Wilbur. We're gonna. You got pretty black, um, pretty black spots. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. you Pr guys. Pretty black Saturday. spots. Yep. Pigs are pretty. Oh, look at the chickens. Cowboy. This is Cowboy. This is Brandon's pet rooster, but we've been getting along really well. Huh. Hi, Cowboy. What are these? That's just his cone and all his other stuff. I don't know. I've never been a big chicken person. I do like Cowboy, and I do like the chickens, but before, I was not a chicken person. I'm a goat person and a pig person. What else? What else? They're just, that's just how he's made, how he's colored. All right, I'm going to let you down. <laughs> Look, Wilbur wants some snacks. We may have to get him some snacks in just a little bit. Mm -hmm. We'll see. All right, one thing. One thing I wanted to do though, and I really wanted to do it while Brandon was here, but since he's not, me and Addison can do it, um, is get this straw out of the chicken pen just because um, a bunch of people have told me that that can actually, oh, they dumped their water, we'll have to get it. But a bunch of people have told me that snakes will actually hide in there. So they could be hiding in there right now. But we're going to go ahead. I'll leave a little bit of one bale just so that they have places to lay or whatever. But um, for the most part, we're going to get all of these out. And we may just stack them. We're not going to stack them over here, but we may lay them side by side or something. We just have to watch out for snakes, though, Cases. Hello, we're going to move this um, hay, and we got to watch out for snakes. All right, guys, you can't come out with us. So you could be the door operator. How about that? Don't let chickens out. You bet, guys and girls. I kind of scared myself. Maybe don't do that last thing when the plant is hungry. I want to do a chicken leg. Well, it'll be all right. We're gonna like we're gonna keep some of this hay down for them. I just don't want to move it, and there'd be a snake rolled up in there. Um. Yeah, no, I ain't doing that without Brandon. Open it, I guess.
Yeah. I changed my mind. I am not. I'm not doing it without Brandon. I just a little chicken. I just like them. But they just live here with it though. But yeah, I'm a little chicken and I do not, I don't want to mess with them. So we're gonna go look for um, Romeo and Juliet socks. Badger and honey. Because <laughs> they're pretty fun. Somewhat. Badger is. <laughs> the other ones are still a little bit skittish. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because I call all of them together. Yeah. Yeah, I'll see the man. We got two that likes us. No, three. Three that likes us. No, three. I think all of them like us. Yeah, they, they, they just went away just a little bit. All the turtles. I don't know if y'all seen that, but they all went underwater as soon as we walked by. The pussy. Yeah. So we have socks right here, sitting in the shade, or standing in the shade. I'm going to join her in the shade. You like ticket, please? Mm-hmm. Well, you know what that is. So, socks is... Socks is one of the llamas we bought this last auction. Not the one in Macon, Missouri, but Locust Grove, Oklahoma. And she was said to be pregnant when we bought her. But I don't know. What do you guys, do you guys think that she is pregnant? Or she just doesn't look as pregnant to me as... She could be, I guess. So let me know if y'all think, just by looking at her, if y'all think she could be pregnant. Now, both of these llamas, honey and socks, were both said to be pregnant. So I'm going to go and give a glimpse of honey also. Now, honey, I think, looks a little bit more pregnant than socks, but still not like 100%. Hi, honey. Hi, mama. But does she look pregnant? Just anyone that kind of knows llamas, if y'all could answer that for me, please. Juliet. That's called that, um. Oh. That's called that little um, Juliet, where's your Romeo? Huh? Where's your Romeo at? He's looking at her. Oh, he's looking at you. Hi. For a minute when we bought her, I, I thought she looked like the pig. Because the pink nose. Oh, yeah. Hi, Juliet. I think I know who someone is. Alright, so this is, this is Juliet. We have two of these smaller ponies, Romeo and Juliet. A little boy, a little girl. I'll show Romeo in just a little bit, but this is just for you guys that um, haven't really been introduced to them. I want to show my manners and introduce you to Juliet. She's still starting to get a little bit more, huh? Oh, so she didn't have more. Yeah. You're not getting my legs. Hi. Can you say hi to everybody? And Ooh. Romeo is right back here. So we will kind of show him. 
they're still a little bit skittish, but they're getting a lot, lot better. Oh, Romeo looks like he got into the stuff that Toby got. What this? Is that good stuff? Huh? Come meow. <laughs> Is that good stuff? He's got some long, long eyelashes. What? What? These are eyelashes. Oh, am I thought these are. No, that's your eyebrow. Hi, my family, dude. Alright, while we're while we are over here we'll kind of give a glimpse of the pond it's not so pretty it's really muddy looking and just kind of icky looking but it's it's a pond so and it's holding water for i mean for the most part it has gone down some but you get what you get and you don't throw a fit is what i tell the kids That is the pond, though. And then we'll walk back up here. Oh, we didn't show Badger, did we? Here, he's over there by socks now. He was kind of back farther, so I was going to do him last, and then I, I almost forgot about him. Are you going to video me? Yes. We videoed you last five times. Yep. So we just gotta give you extra time. So here is Badger. He's calmed down a lot since the girls have got here. He was kind of shell shocked. He's like, "You got me two lady friends." <laughs> so this is Badger. Come on, baby. I can see that. Yeah. Socks is running off, so he's got to run off with her. See, like I'm twins. Yeah. All right, so some of you newcomers, um, we're going to go ahead and just kind of walk around the property not like a hundred percent of it but i'll kind of show i'll go down the middle and kind of show like this side and that side but um just so some of you that haven't been around the property or anything or you're just new and haven't caught up yet so we'll go down here hey mr toby <laughs> what you doing boy play by my Wait, are these six? Hey, go, Toby. Those are goats jumping on everything. Hmm. You gonna walk around with us? Oh. You gonna walk around with us, huh? Yeah. Just like that puppy in the last <laughs> video. All right, so this is new, but we have this long road up here we didn't used to have a road it was just like a dirt like a back road type thing i do not have y'all food i'm sorry i'm sorry about teasing you i guess but we'll go up this road and this is actually where we are having a house built through the chicksaw nation 
and right now they got the pad done and we're just waiting i think to be contracted to the cement people or something not 100 percent sure there was a really big tree and a lot of bush um right here kind of where the shade area is and then all throughout right here there was a bunch of trees there was a little bit of opening right here but you see our garden is over on the other side and then the there's all the trees back there we're eventually gonna have us a big bonfire and just have some fun with it but here I'm gonna walk through my garage and then I'm gonna walk through my laundry room out into the backyard. This dirt pile is gonna be for around the house after they have it all done and everything. They're gonna kinda landscape it, I guess. So here's our backyard and we're going to go down it. Brandon, Layton, and I mow a lot back here. Brandon and Kason actually brush hogged it, um, I don't know, about a week ago, I guess. And then we mow it after we brush hog because I guess that's what's getting a lot of this grass to be pretty. I'm not 100% sure. Brandon is the grass person. So I don't really, I just know that I would have mowed it um, and brush hogged it the first time just because it was high, but he knows more about that kind of stuff. When we first bought this property, there was trees all back here and we took a bunch out. And just recently you can kind of see where there was some trees right here, kind of where it's dead looking but we look to the right and we have our fence line in this back corner we I actually lost my wedding ring I lost both of them I have a set of two it's the wedding band and the actual wedding ring and Addison actually found the wedding ring I'm still missing the band we've done metal detecting and all kinds of stuff we'll probably still go back there and look and um we just kind of periodically just randomly go back there and just see if the ground has moved up or anything but what i'm thinking is probably like a raccoon or something got it i'm glad that i did get the main part and some people would say it would be nice for brandon to go and get you a new wedding ring and whatever but these but these rings are well i have one now but they were brandon's mother's before she passed away so i am very i would rather have the smallest ring if it was sentimental than something super super big that's just how i am i'm a very very sentimental person i like to have things that people pass down or you know some, something like that but um she found this one I um, was super grateful for it, and we looked around the same spot and everything. What happened was we were building fence and I had, I was putting my gloves on. Well, the gloves wasn't fitting good. They were a little bit tighter. Um, they wasn't fitting good with my ring. So I always put my phone in my right back pocket, but on this day, I had, I believe, Layton's phone in my left pocket and my phone in my right pocket. So I ended up putting my rings in my front pocket. And um, I believe I put my gloves in my front pocket. And then when I went to get them back out, the rings flew. That's the only thing I can come up with that why they wouldn't still be in my pocket. I did look in those pockets. Um, I looked everywhere down inside, like maybe if there was a hole or something, I looked everywhere. But at least we found the one. Um, 
and that's pretty much the story on the ring. So we're gonna get back to kind of showing the rest of the property and stuff. So, but it's really, it's beautiful back here. There's the top of the hill and we have all of this on this left hand side. And back here is actually, I'll show y'all this time, but Brandon might get me for showing you our junk pile. No, it's not our junk pile. So right back there is actually where we put all of our tubs. We got a bunch of them and we turned a bunch of them into like little, little tiny houses for the goats and stuff. And then we ended up putting the rest of our electrical fence and T posts and stuff back there as well, just because getting it out of the front yard, if we're not using it in, right now, then there's a trail right back through here and all the way to that, um, area back there is the actual deer blind and deer hunting area you can kind of sort of see the feeder back there and then we make our way back up here hey, birdie. and eventually i think i don't know if we want to clear this part out we started on the other side clearing it out just because there's logs everywhere and it's just kind of you know, snake, you know, that's the thing that, that's the thing that we don't want is we want the kids to be able to roam freely and not have to worry about snakes. Yes, we're living in the country. Yes, we're going to find snakes. So we've been teaching them what to do if a snake comes around or whatever. Like Kaysen, he thinks he wants to go pick it up, but we've let him know that, no, you always run away from the snakes and go find a parent then you get this is kind of the back side of the garden right there it's just kind of all pretty fine and everything then the house will be right up here so we have the house and then right down here the garden it, it'll be pretty close to the house Actually, Nico got to eat some of our tomatoes the other day. He, um, we ended up cooking hamburgers and hot dogs and I forgot tomatoes at the store. Not really forgot them. I want to get them out of here, but I, since we wasn't here, we was at Marie and Williams, I kind of forgot about them up here. And Brandon was like, go, just go get some out of the garden. And I was like, oh yeah, I can do that. So that that was really cool just eating our own farm raised tomatoes tomatoes it looks like toby is looking for a spot to actually sneak in the pin with carly look at i'm gonna try to zoom in here He's trying. Oh, he's gonna urinate instead. He's figured out, oh, I can't get through this one. It's too high to jump. Oh, I hear Carly. Carly, I think Toby's trying to get in there with you. She kind of lost us and couldn't find us. I think, I think Toby's trying to get in there with you. Tell him no, no. He's trying to get in there with you. Tell him no, no, you can't do that. Not right now. Oh, Toby. Alright, so we'll make our way back up here and kind of show the goats and then 
I'm gonna go ahead and go take my, I was gonna say coffee break, but I don't drink coffee. My water break. That's a lot of walking. A lot of walking. Here's Skittles. Mm -hmm. Alright, so what Brandon did right here is actually, we have those black and yellow totes that, um, I think we had like four of them, I think, and we kept like chicken feed in one, rabbit feed in one, kangaroo feed in one, dog feed, goat feed. We just kept all kinds of animal feed in each one of them. Well, we haven't done that in a while since we have the trailer. And so Brandon decided, you know what? Those are perfect little, little tubs for water. So he kind of planted them everywhere. They're, they're just kind of randomly everywhere since most days during the daytime. The goats are out grazing the whole property, so there's just water kind of, kind of everywhere. There's one puppy. Yep, one puppy trying to come out. Come here, pup, 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 pup. The puppy came up, so let's let's get a glimpse of. I wonder if that's a him or her. Her. We have more chances of it being a her since we have four girls and. Now, just two boys, since Nico took him a boy. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if you're a boy or a girl. Come here. Yep, girl. Yeah. Hi, sweetheart. How are you doing? Hi. Look, you just had a bath the other day, and you're all nasty again. He's so sweet, or she's so sweet. These puppies are so stinking cute. It's hard to get rid of them, but it's also not hard to get rid of them. But I'm gonna let them rest, and I'm gonna go rest. You need to go rest, get out of the sun. So we are gonna close up this video. Go ahead and give us a thumbs up, turn notification bell on, and subscribe. God, God bless. bless.